Hi, welcome back to Yoga with the Gore Road of channel and this is day 19 of your yoga challenge. So today we are focusing on preparation to Virabhadrasan 3 pulse. This is Varier pulse number 3. And also a preparation for uh, headstand. So you need a wall and a couple of blocks and belt. Let's get started. So first pose, Uttanasana, go to the wall. So let the buttocks touch the wall and step forward with your feet. So keep some distance between your heels and, and the wall. So spread your uh, feet hip apart, adjust your outer heels and outer hips. Keep the outer edges of your feet parallel, outer edges of the mat. So lift the kneecaps, let the muscles of the front thighs draw up. So press the buttocks evenly and so bend forward, so touch the floor or ankles or shins and bend your elbows and release the sides of the trunk downward. So if you touch the floor, touch with the fingers and spread the elbows and release downward. So. Relax the sides of the neck, bend your elbows and extend the sides of the trunk. Lift the kneecaps and muscles of the front thighs. Roll the front thighs in and spread the back thighs out. Relax the skin of the lower back. Soften your abdomen. Relax the face. Now press your hands to the shins. Lift the head, trunk, extend forward. Press your hands to the shins. Move your back ribs in, move your shoulders away from the head. And now inhale, come on. So next pose, Adam Krishwanasana. Press your hands to the wall. Kneel down. Press your thumbs and index fingers to the wall. And extend your legs one by one. Stay on the balls of your feet. Lift the heels and extend your arms especially inner part of your arms, roll your upper arms from inside out, push the upper front thighs back and move your heels down. Heels down, buttock bones up, relax your head neck, stretch your arms fully and extend the entire body. Don't hold your breath. Okay, bend your knees, relax a little bit. The next pose, Ekpada Adha Mukha Svanasana. From Adha Mukha Svanasana, you lift one leg upward and extend one leg in the air. I will show you first, don't do now. Again, dog pose. As you extend your arms and legs, so you shift the right foot closer to the center, the middle line, and from here you extend one leg but you roll the front eye in, and so and extend through the heel. Then you change. So don't turn your mm, leg this way. So turn your front eye in and extend up. Okay, ready? Let's do. Let's do and prepare, prepare yourself for this pulse. So, Kneel down, press your thumbs and index finger to the wall. Lift your knees, lift your heels, go to dog pose, stretch to the maximum. So now shift the right foot slightly to the center, extend more, try to press your heel and lift your left leg higher, and roll the left front thigh in, keep your left leg straight. And extend the back part of your left leg through the left heel. Okay, release. Now, shift the left foot to the center. Be ready. Extend and lift your right leg upward. And roll the left front thigh in and extend the whole body. Don't push your upper back to the wall. Move your upper back away from the wall. Okay. Now bend knees, relax. 
You sit on the heels, relax a little bit. So relax your shoulders. Interlock your fingers behind your back, release your shoulders for seconds. Now change, change the interlock of your fingers. Drop your trapezius muscles downward. Okay. So now the next step. Again, Ekapada Adamukha But now, variation, you press the heels to the wall. Don't do now, I will show you first. And from here, so you lift one leg up and press the balls of the foot on the up to the wall and use the wall and extend the whole body. Okay. This is very good variation for intense extension of your body. So be ready. Adjust the distance, so press your hands to the mat, extend your fingers, spread your fingers, stretch your legs and press your heels. Lift the heels up to the wall and press your heels evenly and extend your whole body. As you extend your whole body, lift your left leg first, press the balls of the left foot up to the wall and extend the back part of your left leg. Press the right heel also and push the Upper front high back. Lock the elbows in. Okay, release. Go to the dog pose again. Stretch your whole body. Now change your legs. Extend your right leg. Press the left heel. Roll the upper arms from inside out and push the left front high back. Okay. Bending knees and relax. Again, relax your shoulders, lift your head, take two, two three normal breaths. Okay, now, inhale, come on. So, the next action, again, I try to show you, this is really, uh, good preparation for handstand stand. So we continue from the Ekapada uh, uh, Adha Mukha Svanasana. We go to Adha Ekapada Adha Mukha Vrikshasana. Adha Mukha Vrikshasana, this is the uh, handstand. I try to show. So I extend. So then I bring the hands closer to the wall. I lift my legs up to the wall, spread my feet, and from here I lift one leg and extend upward. So don't move your leg over your trunk, just stretch your leg up to the wall. Then you change, okay, and then you go down. Okay, ready? Let's do. So I'll go to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Stay in this position a few seconds. Now, move your heels closer to your feet and lift one leg and other and extend the legs. Stretch your arms upward and press your heels. And now lift your right leg first. Extend your right leg, roll the right front eye in, okay. Now lift your left leg, stretch the maximum, a few seconds. Okay, go down, sit on the heels, and once again relax your shoulders, lift your chest, drop your trapezius muscles. Okay, very good. Now stand up and take two blocks. Now, Virabhadrasana tree variation, I will show you. So, I keep my feet together, I press my hands to the blocks, and after this I extend my trunk forward, I move my chest forward, but shoulders away from the head. Then, 
I move my left foot back, touch the floor with my toes, again extend my trunk and then lift my left leg up and extend. I roll my left front high in and extend the back part of my leg. Okay, so ready? Let's do. So from Tadasana, inhale with exhalation, go down, touch the blocks. Also, you can use the extra support under your blocks or maybe use the chair. Extend, extend the trunk, extend the spine, press your hands. So now, move your left foot back slightly, press the toes to the floor, extend it, spine. And now lift your left leg from the, not from the foot, but from the thigh. Lift your thigh bone and extend your left leg. Roll the left front thigh in. Keep your leg straight and extend your spine forward. Look forward. Okay, release. Take two, three normal breaths. Just a few seconds, stay in this position. And now change. Press the right toes to the floor and extend the back part of your right leg. Lift your spine, be ready. Lift your right leg and turn your right front eye in. And extend the back part of your right leg. Okay. Now bring the hands, the hips, in and come up. Are you okay? So. For recovery, spread your feet, hold the elbows, and go down, Uttanasana. Relax deeply your lower back, keep your legs straight, extend the sides of the trunk. Now change the hand, cross your arms. Bring the hands on the hips, inhale, come up. Very good. Now remove the blocks, and again variation of Virabhadrasana tree, uh, warrior pose number three, but now we use the wall. So look, I press my fingertips to the wall, I keep my hands and shoulders in line, so I step back slightly, keep my feet together, and look, I push my front ass back and extend my sides of the trunk. So maybe I adjust the position of my legs, yes. So don't sink in the shoulders, in your shoulders, roll the upper arms from the inside up. And then, again, I lift my leg and extend back, okay? So be ready, go to the wall, press the fingertips to the wall, keep your arms straight. Step back, keep your feet together, and push the upper front thighs back. Extend the sides of the trunk, legs straight, lift the knee cups, roll the upper arms from the inside out. Now, move your left foot back slightly, press the toes to the, to the floor, be ready, and press your fingers to the wall, extend the sides of the trunk, and extend your left leg. Lift your left leg and extend through the heel. Lift your head, look forward. Okay, release. Take two, three normal breaths. Extend. Now move your right foot back. Be ready. And lift your right leg. Roll the right front thigh in and extend your right leg up. Uh, down. Uh, backwards, sorry. Look forward. Okay. Stretch the maximum. Step forward. And release the pose. Very good. Now take one belt, uh, lie down in back, and press your feet to the wall. Spread your feet hip width apart. Bend your right leg, hold the right leg, and relax a little bit. But press your left heel to the wall. Adjust your toes, so let the toes pointing to, to the ceiling. Drop the shoulders down, keep your chest open. Soften your breath. Now take a belt. 
and place the belt on the heel and extend your right leg up. Open the back part of your legs, spread your elbows and keep your chest open. Adjust the pressure of your left heel on the wall and right heel on the belt. Keep your legs straight. Okay, bend your right leg, extend your right leg, press the right heel to the wall. Now bend your left leg, hold the left shin and relax the left leg. Keep your chest open, extend the back part of your right leg. Soften your breath. So now, again, take a bell on the left heel and extend your left leg. Try to keep your left leg perpendicular to the floor. If it's difficult, so you can move your left leg lower, but keep your left leg extended and straight. Open your foot, left foot, open your right foot and press the right heel to the wall. To the wall. Roll in the chest. Okay, bend your left leg and release. Now bend your legs, turn to the right side. So go closer to the wall and lift your legs up to the wall. Urdhva Prasarit Padasana. Ladies, if you have a period, don't do this pose. Just lie down on the floor and cross your legs like this. Okay? So. Go to the wall, lift your legs up, up to the wall, go closer and extend your legs. Spread your feet, spread your toes. And now extend your arms over the head. Press your heels and move your front eyes towards the wall. Open your whole body, use your breath. Make a more deeper inhalation, open the chest from inside. More deeper exhalation, relax your abdomen, relax your face, relax your eyes. For a few seconds, stay there. Now move your arms down, relax your shoulders, take your hands on your lower abdomen, but keep your legs straight. Very good. Now bend your legs and cross your legs on the wall, swastikasan, cross legs, pose. Relax deeply your hip joints, your knees, your ankles, your legs completely. Now change across your legs. And once again, relax your legs. Very good, now turn the right side and slowly sit up and prepare for Shavasana. So bend your knees, press your hands, place your spine back on the floor, extend your legs, turn your palms towards the ceiling, Close your eyes and relax completely. Let go deeply your whole body. A few minutes, stay there. Relax your body step by step. Soften your breath and allow your mind to be quiet and go deeper into the body. Relax the face. Relax the skin on the head, relax your eyes, relax the skin of the temples. Release your eyes to the back of the head. Relax the root of the jaws, relax the root of the tongue. 
It likes her lips. It likes deep her head from outside, from inside. Now relax the neck. Relax the skin of the throat. Relax the inner walls of your throat. Relax the shoulders, trapezius muscles. And relax completely your arms, your right arm, left arm. Relax the back, lower back, middle back, upper back. Soften your back and let go deeply your spine. Relax your pelvic area, relax your hips, hip joints. Now relax your legs, especially back part of your legs. Now relax your abdomen, soften your diaphragm. As you soften your diaphragm, soften your breath. Have a more deeper exhalation. And with this exhalation, release and let go deeply your whole body. Be quiet and stay in this pose a few seconds more. Bend your legs, bend your arms, take your hands on your abdomen, be quiet and turn to the right side. Stay comfortable on the right side. Now let the eyes open, press your left hand to the floor and slowly sit up. Enough for this session. Thank you. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you enjoyed this class, leave a comment below. Also, if you have questions, hit the like button. If you like this video, share this video with your friends and share this challenge with your friends. Um, I wish you a great day and see you tomorrow.